Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Mako's Mythic Menagerie. Let me start by giving you a little scenario that I'm sure we've all found ourselves in. You're walking through the countryside when you come to a river. You recognize this river, but what you don't recognize is the horse wading through the shallows, wearing full saddle and bridle, just begging to be ridden. You move slowly, trying to avoid startling the animal. But to your surprise, despite noticing you, the beast doesn't flee. No, it seems to move closer to you. You reach it and decide to hop on its back. However, once you're seated comfortably, the horse takes off into the river. Startled, you try to hop off, but it seems you're stuck. No matter what you do, you can't get away. You sink below the waves, never to be seen again. That was a Kelpie. Kelpies are shape-shifting spirits that inhabit lakes and rivers in Scottish folklore. Pretty much every sizable body of water in Scotland has an associated Kelpie story. They usually appear as black horses, but are said to be able to take human form as well. Unlike most mythical creatures worldwide, they tend to take male forms more often in order to lure young women away. While the origins of the beast are unknown, the term first appears in an ode written by a William Collins, sometimes before the year 1759. The stories seem to be meant to keep children away from dangerous waterways and teach young women to be wary of strangers. Kelpies were said to be able to adjust their size to accommodate multiple riders. A common theme in the tales tell of several, normally being nine, children climbing on the back of the beast while one remains on shore. The boy on shore pets the horse and his fingers stick to the creature. He then has to either cut off his fingers or his hand in general in order to escape and survive while the other nine children are dragged and devoured under the water. It makes me wonder if hundreds of years ago there wasn't some little psychopath who lured all his friends to the river and in order to avoid suspicion, just cut off his finger or two. Like some kind of killer kids scenario. Now, it is possible to kill a Kelpie. It is said that much like the werewolf, they can be killed with a silver bullet. And another story tells of a blacksmith whose family was terrorized by a Kelpie. So he took two spears with an iron spearhead, heated them in a fire, and stabbed them into the beast's flanks. The creature died, leaving no remains other than a jelly-like substance. Odds are, you wouldn't want to kill the Kelpie, however. It is said that if you can get a hold of a Kelpie's bridle, you can take control of them. You can tell a Kelpie apart from a horse because Kelpies are said to have the strength of 10 horses and the stamina of many more. It's said that the Laird of Morphy captured a Kelpie and used it to haul stones in order to build his castle. When the work was done, he was said to have released the beast, but being angry about its imprisonment, the Kelpie cursed him causing his family to be wiped out and his name to go extinct. Now you might be thinking to yourself, I hope I never run into a Kelpie. But not all encounters with Kelpies ended badly. One tale from Bara tells of a lonely Kelpie who took the form of a handsome young man in order to woo a pretty young woman who he had hoped to make his wife. The woman discovered that he was a Kelpie, however, and remove the silver necklace that he wore while he slept, which happened to be his bridle. She put the Kelpie to work for her father's farm for a year before she decided to 
go and see a wise man who told her that she should return the necklace. When she did this, the Kelpie returned to his human form, and the wise man asked her, asked him if he would like to remain a Kelpie or if he would like to become a mortal man. The Kelpie turned to his love and asked her to marry him, and she said yes, and the two lived happily together. That should show you that if you think you'll never meet Mr. Perfect or the right girl for you, there's someone out there for everyone, even if it is a demon horse. I wanted to kind of end the video off with a few fun facts about Kelpies. So, some po folks think that the Loch Ness Monster is in fact a large Kelpie, and Kelpies are still prominent in the culture of Scotland. As late as 2013, there were two statues built named just the Kelpies, and they stand 100 feet tall in Falkirk. You can go see them today. Also, there is a group known as the McGregor clan who claim to own a Kelpie's bridle that has been passed down from generation to generation but the details of which are a closely guarded secret. Do they have a Kelpie under their control? Who knows? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Feel free to leave any feedback. <clears throat> any feedback you might have. And tune in next time when I talk about something else.